What's up you guys, it's Steve here with some pretty exciting breaking news for those of you waiting for your unemployment tax refunds. Now we had heard a rumor about this, I had mentioned it to you guys, but we couldn't confirm it. Well now, it is confirmed, the rumors are true, that there is gonna be a new wave rolling out starting today. I'm gonna to be covering all the details for you on this five day wave of a lot of people who are gonna start receiving their refunds on that $10,200 of tax-free unemployment benefits that you received in 2020. But not only that, we're also going to be discussing who's going to be receiving it, how they're going to be rolling this out, and where you can check on the IRS's website and find out about when you might be receiving this refund if you haven't gotten it already today. So I'm going to dive right in. Really happy to share this with you guys, get you caught up on the details of this as of today, June 3rd, 2021. But before we dive in and get you caught up on all these updates on unemployment and taxes, if you could do me a quick favor, just takes a second. If you like and appreciate these updates, don't forget to smash that like button, leave your comments, share this out on social media platforms. It helps me out a ton. Thank you so much. And if this is your first time here and you want to stay up to date on topics like this about money, don't forget to take a second to smash the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. If you have any questions specifically for me, follow me on Instagram at steveran3, shoot me a DM there and I'll respond to you. And if you want to see what trades I'm doing in stocks or crypto, don't forget to join the Patreon group where I keep you up to date on that as well. But you guys, let's go ahead and dive right in. I've got some articles and I'm going to be sharing with you where where you can go on the IRS's website so that way you can see about this new refund and this new wave that's starting today. All right, so let's dive into this article that just came out yesterday that I found that confirms that you can check the status and the amount of your refund on the IRS's website. And it's actually gonna give us step-by-step -step instructions. We're gonna dive right into that. Then I'm gonna do a quick recap on who qualifies and who's gonna be getting this. And then we're gonna dive into the IRS's official page. So link in the description below if you'd like to check out this article for yourself. And it says, where is my unemployment tax break refund and what to know about the money from the IRS? So let's get right to it. It says, where can I check to see how much of an unemployment tax refund I'm getting? And it says, to find out where the IRS processed your refund and for how much, you'll need to get the tax transcript. And we're gonna be sharing this with you here in just a second. And it says, here's how to find it. Number one, visit irs.gov and log into your account. If you haven't opened an account with the IRS, this will take some time as you'll have to go through the multiple steps to confirm your identity. Number two, once you've logged into your account, you'll see the account homepage. Click view tax records links. Now this is normally how you'll find out about your refund, but now they're doing this specifically for this unemployment refund for the 10,200. Number three, on the next page, click on the get transcript button. Number four, here you'll see a drop down menu asking the reason you need a transcript. Select federal tax and leave the custom file number field empty and click the go button. Number five, the following page will show your return transcript, records of account transcript, account transcript, and wage and income transcript for the last four years. Now, you'll want to select the 2020 account transcript. Number six, this will open a PDF of your transcript and you want to focus on the transactions section. What you're looking for is an entity listed as refund issued and it should have a date and either sometime in late May or June. If you don't see that listing, it's likely means that the IRS hasn't gotten to your return yet. And what we're hearing is people are walking through this process and a lot of people are seeing June 3rd and June 7th. And this is a lot of reports coming in from Facebook forums and other places like that where they're saying over the course of the next five days, a lot of single filers can expect to get this refund. Now, like it said, if you don't get it, it might come later on. They're doing this in waves, but it's this is the indication of the first major wave that's going out. All right, so we're gonna be taking a look at the official irs.gov website here in just a second, but first wanna cover a couple things, just a reminder of what you can expect throughout this process. And it says, here's what you can expect. The tax break is gonna be for anybody who earned $150,000 a year or less in the year 2020. That's adjusted gross income. Next, refunds started the week of May 10th, and they've been rolling those out, and they're gonna run through the summer. So if you don't receive them right now, or you didn't receive it in May, don't worry. They're gonna be rolling these out throughout the course of the next couple months. Now also, if your taxes are a little bit more complicated, you can likely expect them later as we're hearing that they're gonna be doing this in two phases. First, it's gonna be the single filers with easier taxes. Those are gonna be going out first, then married couples filing jointly and more complicated taxes will roll out in a second wave. Next, if the IRS determines that you're owed a refund, then they're gonna go ahead and take care of it for you automatically and send you the check. You don't have to do anything on your part. 
Now the IRS, they can seize this refund for past due debts. So if you owe child support or any state or federal taxes, don't be surprised if you only get a partial check. Also, you don't need to file an amendment for this return to claim this exemption. It says they're going to take care of it for you. Now, you can go to other softwares like TurboTax to determine how much you think you're going to get, but they're saying that they're going to be covering all the details on this. Now, refunds will go out as direct deposit if you have your bank account information on file with the IRS, and if not, if you receive it through the mail, your uh, stimulus checks and other things like that, you'll likely get this the same manner. The IRS will send a notice explaining the corrections in 30 days of making it, so you can also expect to receive confirmation information in the mail on this and it says you're not going to be able to track the progress of your refund through the get my payment tracker the refund tool or the amendment return status tools or any other irs portal information but we have confirmed that you can see it on the tax transcript section in the irs's website so let's go ahead and take a look at that right now so you're going to want to go to the official irs.gov page not irs.com or anything like that it's going to be irs.gov it's going to look like this this is when I just searched transcripts and this popped up. Now you can see here, welcome to the get the transcript page. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and request an entry online. Now when you do that, then it's gonna ask you to open up an account. You can see here on the official IRS website, you're gonna put in all of your information. And then once you do that, then you're gonna walk through those steps that I provided you from that article. And when you do that, you'll be able to pull up the PDF and on there, you're gonna see all of the codes. You're gonna look for the tax refund code and on there, it should give you a date. As I mentioned, a lot of people have been doing this process. They've been seeing June 3rd, June 7th, and they're seeing the amount that they're expected to get. And once again, this might be less than you're expecting because if you have any owed taxes, debts, child support, they can pull this, they can seize it. However, what we're expecting is the vast majority of people, they're likely gonna be falling into the 10% range. So 10% of $10,000 is a lot of people. They're gonna be getting back around $1,000. Well, you guys, that is the latest on this refund rolling out. Turns out the rumors were true that this first wave is hitting right now. Let me know if you're a part of it, if you get your refund on the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, or seventh over the next five days. And I'll be sure to keep you up to date as more waves roll out. If you don't get it right now, don't worry. They're gonna be doing this throughout the course of the summer. Now, you can check it on the IRS website, as we mentioned. And you guys, this week is gonna be a big week for stimulus. As I mentioned, check out the previous videos right now. Capito, head of the GOP, is gonna be leading negotiations with President Joe Biden to see if they can have a bipartisan agreement on the next stimulus package. We're gonna see if they can come together and provide that new infrastructure bill. Now, we might see a lot of physical infrastructure and also social infrastructure, which could lead to more stimulus checks further extending out the child tax credits, maybe even more unemployment benefits. We'll see whatever unfolds. I'll keep you guys up to date here on the channel. Keep an eye out for those updates and also what's going on with unemployment as there's a lot of news rolling out and I'll keep you guys up to date here on the channel. And once again, if you like and appreciate that, don't forget, smash that like button, leave your comments, share this out, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to stay up to date. Follow me on Instagram at steveram3. Join the Patreon group to see what stocks I'm trading. Get your free stocks in the links in the description below. And with that being said, you guys, I hope this reaches you well. Hope it was a helpful video. I'll be sure to keep you up to date. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.